Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. We start with the breaking news the world is following this hour. The Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris is burning. The landmark is 850 years old. The city of Paris has been watching in horror. Devin Skillion monitoring the battle to save as much of the building as possible. Devin, this is very tough to watch. Well, it certainly has been, Karen. Notre Dame in the heart of Paris. No doubt this fire is breaking hearts all over Paris, but all over the world as well, as it's uh, the most visited city in the world. It began with reports of flames on the roof near the spire of the cathedral, and before long, flames and smoke were filling the early evening sky. Flames that began on the roof then spread quickly, and before long, they had engulfed that uh, classic, iconic spire of the cathedral. Glowing red and orange, it tilted and then tumbled into the flames below. Notre Dame Cathedral was uh, built between the 12th and 14th centuries. It's goth Gothic architecture known for the, the flying buttresses, which stand outside the structure, helping hold up the walls and paving the way for so many uh, similar structures in centuries following that. It's said that a forest of trees was used for the wooden frame, and now most of that frame is believed to have been consumed by the fire. President Trump traveling in Minnesota took time to comment on the loss. It's one of the uh, great treasures of the world, uh, the greatest artists in the world. Probably, if you think about it, I would say, Jovita, it might be uh, greater than almost any museum in the world. And it's burning very badly. It looks like it's burning to the ground. Despite the immensity of the fire, there have been no reports of injuries. Speculation about the cause, though, centers on the renovation work that has been going on at the cathedral. That's just guesswork right now because nothing has been confirmed about how this started. Uh, but right now we have this live look at the cathedral. It is just after 10 p.m. right now, six hour time difference to Paris. We're told there are firefighters inside and outside at this time. So that means at least they finally have been able to get in. French President Emmanuel Macron is on the seen as well. Local 4 and Click on Detroit will continue to monitor the situation uh, in Paris. We'll have updates in our coming newscasts on NBC Nightly News and we'll continue to update it on clickondetroit.com.